right, we're here at DVMPE at Wizard World 2013, and I am standing with, I'm sorry, to me, he is Agent Crycheck. Nicholas Lee. Hey. The one, the only, the living legend. Thank you for giving <laughs> us a few minutes, man. <laughs> of course. He's here, he's got both arms. <laughs> so, big anniversary year for yeah. X-Files. We are about to be doing a retrospective on X-Files, so it's an honor to talk to you. Thank you. When you think back on this on this experience, this entity that X Files became, what's sort of like the first like fondest memory that comes to mind for you? First fondest memory really is uh, the relationships, the friendships. You yeah. know, um, that's what always remains. Honestly, that's what all for me. That's what remains on uh, like, uh, first and foremost is the friendships that you make. You yeah. know, and the fun that you have. Because doing a show like that, it's so unusual. Yeah. Uh, and I got to do a lot of wacky, wacky, crazy stuff. So yeah. it was always fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it was hard work, but um, super rewarding. And, you know, I mean, uh, it's sometimes I stand back and I get some perspective on it. And I realize I'm on a show that people might be watching 100 years from now. Yeah. And there isn't a lot of those around. You know, they, they created a show that kind of obviously stands the test of time. Yeah. Uh, and again, there's, there's not a many of those. And uh, I'm from Vancouver. Uh, I grew up there. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get on the show. And, you know, in season six, I was found myself on the Fox lot, you know. And if you're an actor, it's kind of every actor's dream to be driving onto a lot and working professionally. and. Uh, working with people that you respect. So it was uh, nothing but uh, good for me. I, I, I have only fond memories of that show, and obviously it's helped me uh, in my career, and uh, you know, when you have a recognizability, it, it, mm -hmm. it helps uh, to get shows down the road. Yeah. Um, none of them, uh, um, you know, it's a, that's a very special show. There's no question yeah. about it. Yeah. Like, do you find yourself, if you're watching TV and you catch an episode and it's one of your episodes, what's that like? Tell me a little bit about what the dynamic is for you to be seeing yourself. Is it just a total flashback to making the show, or is it sort of a, do you get to separate yourself and watch it as a TV well, show? I mean, uh... It's a loaded question, No, you know, it's a good question. I mean, no, I, I never do. I mean, maybe it's an ego thing for me. I don't, I don't really know. I, I, it's very difficult to sit back and watch anything I'm in. I'm detached as a viewer, um, but you know you watch something and, and all, lots of memories start to come. You know, I mean, you remember the night that you were at a particular place and the temperature and the whether it was raining or not, or how difficult or easy it was to get a particular scene or a particular shot done. You know, and I look at some of the stuff that I did where I was, you know, hanging. Uh, you know, I did one episode where I was hanging by one arm. Yeah. Um, they uh, had originally designed it so that the original idea was that I'd be hanging, but it would be shot at such an angle that you wouldn't see my feet, and that I'd be out standing on a platform right, right. Uh, and making it look like I was hanging. And Kim Manners, the yeah. recently departed uh, Kim Manners, the great Kim Manners, uh, I said to him, you know, wouldn't it be better, isn't it better really if you can see my feet? dangling. I mean, isn't, isn't that really going to sell the shot? And he said, well, do you want to do that? And I said, well, yeah, I mean, it's safe. Mm -hmm. So they strung me up with a harness and I had a cable going on my arm. And the next thing I knew, I was, I mean, it was all very carefully planned, yeah. of course. But uh, there I was hanging 18 floors by one arm. Yeah. And that's, uh, and I was super, I had no problem with it until I was actually out there. <laughs> and then about 30 seconds into it, I was like, Okay, I may have had enough. <laughs> if you got the shot, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of things come back. But again, to, to answer the question succinctly, it's the friendships. Nice. Yeah. Um, what was sort of the, the most uh, shocking thing or, like, the, the most challenging thing that you can recall that you were like, well, wow, this is big time because I'm afraid to do this. And I, I'm assuming it wasn't the hanging off the building thing you just told well, me. Well, again, you know, I was, was cool until I was actually out there. Yeah. Um, there's a, a, an episode where I ran out of uh, an exploding car. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that required me sitting in a car surrounded by about eight or ten massive uh, plastic containers of gasoline. Uh -huh. Because they wanted me to 
they wanted the shot needed to be me running from the car and then it exploding right right without any cuts me okay. opening the door running and exploding behind me and the first take uh, you know we had all these safety meetings Rob Bowman and really Rob Bowman Kim Manners mm -hmm. are as responsible for that for that look of that show as as anybody yeah. so there I am sitting uh, in this car full of uh, you know massive containers of gasoline and uh, the guy says okay you're gonna run 30 yards and the moment you hit a line cross the line that's when I'll press the plunger I get out of the car I run as fast as I can 30 yards I cross the line there's nothing yeah I turn back to the guy who's looking at his thing going so we had to do it again so that I didn't feel you know yeah, as yeah. brave as I did the first time and then uh, we did it and ba-boom and it was like somebody pushing me from behind and you could, I could feel the heat I mean I wasn't I was only probably 40 feet from it when it exploded wow. but that's a lot of gasoline going up at once you yeah. know well thank you for uh, for braving it because uh, you know the product was amazing well so. I mean it's, that's fun. That stuff's fun. That's yeah. Like, it, it might be a little bit kind of scary, but you know that these guys are, even though accidents happen, of yeah. course they have, everybody goes to great lengths to make it as safe as they possibly can. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you got to, if you want it to look right, you got you to gotta go the extra mile. Yeah. You, know? you got to put in the effort and, and, you know, I've learned the hard way that, if you don't give if you don't give it your all, you're gonna see it on some point at some point on television, and you're gonna go. Maybe I should have focused a little more. I mean, yeah. you know, I've done enough work now that my stuff does show up, and especially the early stuff when I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, hard to watch your early work. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I I hope and imagine that I'm a better actor now than I was when I started. So. Mm -hmm. I find it hard to believe that you're not, man. I really do. So I mean, that you wouldn't be better now than you oh, were Oh well, I mean, it's uh, it only follows. And depend, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter what you do. The more time you spend at it, the better you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, when I was I was just thrashing around when I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. And um, but they still get played on television. So it's I. You're doing something right. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, there's 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 ongoing uh, embarrassment. Yeah. Attached to that. Okay. For sure. <laughs> you know. All right. I got. I got one more. If that's sure. cool. Um, what from what of that character has stayed with you? You know, is there a little bit of every character you play that kind of stays with you? And <laughs> some do. Yeah. Some do. Some don't at all. Okay. Uh, I just did five episodes on the killing, and uh, awesome. And yeah. I was even though we. It was more written and more shot than actually made the show. I was pretty attached to that role, and uh, uh, I was pretty moved by that role, uh, yeah. even though um, it's a death row character, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, did, I always do try to do a lot of research about these things. Yeah. But um, what sticks? You know, see, my deal is like. I'm not interested in playing guys who are just good right. or guys who are just bad. That's just not interesting to me. It mm -hmm. never has been. You know, good guys that, that can't that can't help but making mistakes, uh, yeah. or bad guys that think they're good or are trying to be good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, complexity is what I'm after, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to bring complexity to something. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I did that in you know the role of Spy uh, Check, where I was you know when people say I love to hate you. Hope, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, part of that is because what I got to. You know? Yeah. You know, you, 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 you become attached to some characters and you want them to, um, you, you kind of care for them in a certain way. Yeah. You protect them. You know, I mean, you can never, if I was to play an insane person, I could never start that role by thinking, okay, I'm insane. Right. It's you're dead in the water. Yeah. Or saying I might, this guy's a good guy or he's a bad guy or whatever. You can't look at it that way. Um, so I I probably hold on to a little bit of the goods, you know, every little good part that I play. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, they're, 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 they they represent a time in my life. Yeah. So that's at the end of the day, that's it's kind of like a little mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean. Because one of the things I always find challenging is when I tell people about X-Files and how I'm like, all right, now season two, this guy comes in, 
I can't tell you if he's good or bad because he's kind of running the spectrum. Perfect. And, and as it goes into the seasons, it gets <laughs> But isn't that good? I mean, I mean, don't you want to be surprised? I mean, that's, I want to be surprised. Yeah. Right? I, want to, I want to watch something and not know what a character's going to do. I, I actually have a lot of friends who are watching the show now, like people who are just getting introduced to it. Right. And they're getting through season two where now you're kind of like gone for a little while. And they're right. like, so is he coming back? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you know watch yeah. and find out. Well, thank you very much for giving us a few minutes. I really appreciate it. Hi, this is Nicholas Lee, Crycheck on the X-Files, and you are listening to DBM Podcast Empire, taking over the world one day at a time.